hunters are all so naive. <laughs> Using your gifts for petty theft. <laughs> I'm going to teach you the real power of memory games. And when I've finished with you, you'll think you've always adored me. No, never! Silence! In time, you will willingly give your life for me. It's now or never, sis. Snatch the access to the prison servers. Your meager talent could keep you out of here. Don't worry. You'll be just fine here. Processing. Processing. Dr. Quaid is going to adore a new patient with such... Oh, I do it from here. My god, Edge. That was bad request. They've got him. Don't get distracted. He'll be freed with all the rest. Follow Madame's remembrance to the memory servers. New Paris VIPs, probably the Madame. Yep. Her position as governor of La Bastille Fortress requires her to use the alias Madame, and she rules the prison with an iron fist. Her past may be shadowy, but her outstanding record has kept her at the top of a totally new type of penitentiary since her appointment in 2074. Although doubts may remain regarding her origins, Madame was born Astrid Voorhees in 2036 in Paris. Abandoned as an orphan from the age of eight, she grew up among the survivors of the Dark Years an area torn apart by wars and natural disasters. She first appeared in the records of the brand new city, Neo Paris, aged around 30 as one of the first volunteers to accept a Sensen terminal implantation to allow her to work in the municipality. She designed the La Bastille penitentiary system herself and orders the temporary wiping of the memories of its inmates. This revolutionary idea is made possible by the omnipresent Sensen, which enables her to manage and control docile and nonviolent criminals Relieved of the burden of their past, they resist the temptation to return to an outside world they no longer remember. Madame was appointed governor of La Bastille when it opened in 2074, and has achieved the impressive record of not a single escape attempt on her watch. Rumors have persisted over the years regarding the prison's opaque management style, and evidence exists that, although the memories of the prisoners are restored the day of their release, memories of their period of incarceration are wiped clean. An essential security measure, says Madame, to prevent any escape organized from outside. Her opponents declare this a flagrant violation of human rights that is unacceptable in a modern democracy like Neo Paris. Some have even accused her of memory crimes against the prison population in La Bastille, but no eyewitness reports have ever been produced to support such accusations. Really? No eyewitness reports when everybody's memory is controlled and wiped at their will? You don't say. Well, I'm sure nothing weird's going on in here. Ah, oh, those wet reflections on the ground. Edge? Okay, I'm in position. Let's do this. You're a grade A hero, sis, I swear. You must be close to the entrance to the Panopticon. The central tower. That's where the memory servers are. Use the memory you stole from Madame to find a way in there.
on your last ship. Yeah, it doesn't do anything when it's got the shield. There we go. Oh, Jesus. Rust in pieces. Turns robot units into allies who will attack all ground units and eventually self-destruct. Okay, that's amazing. Open it. Okay, so I can only do one robot at a time. Fair enough. Oh my god, it sucks everybody into it. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, fuck. Rust in pieces is not what I want. I guess Sense and Fury is okay. to go. Millen, head outside hell. I want La Bastille isolated from the network. I've done that ten minutes ago. This must never happen again, Sergeant Vaughn. It's Dr. Quaid's fault. That leech does whatever he feels like in his laboratory. Leave Dr. Quaid out of this. La Bastille's whole reputation was stained by the breakout. <sighs> yes, madam. And get me Olga Sadova on a secure line. I've got a job for her.
Okay, I think that is where I'm supposed to go. Then, what's this way? Technology. Valet robot. <laughs> valet is in quotes. Initially designed to provide personal services, valets are humanoid and multitasking robots that can now carry out site surveillance and maintain public safety. Developed by Avram Hesh Laboratories, this model was a perfect answer to the need for personal security in an urban environment. The first valet emerged from a robotics program applied to personal protection and automated security technologies. Its sleek design and physical proportion of an adult human with a serene face were selected for their psychological effect. The owner is reassured by the sense of calm emanating from the valet, and its resolute and assured bearing is likely to deter potential attackers. The main advantage of this machine is the relatively low cost of manufacture, which has led to mass production and the replacement of human agents by valets in many thankless uh, patrol and guard duties, site surveillance, and access control. Designed for private use, these robots are programmed to never injure or attack a human under any circumstances. Two models were specifically developed for guard and public security duties. The AV-48S Seraphim flying models generally used for site surveillance, and the AV-48N Nephilim, Nephilim models for riot control and emergency situations. Unlike the standard models, these two products are authorized to use force against any individuals considered hostile. I've noticed. That explains why all the other ones I see around are not taking note of me. Two of them? What? Okay, that's a little weird. <laughs> knock, knock. Gotcha, gotcha. Wrong one. The only person allowed to play with memories here. Is me. Ooh, this is a big battle arena. It's also really pretty. Look at that transparent floor. Let's do it. Bring it on. new combo is available. Interesting, I'm also being fought by memories. I guess only Madame has that power. Wait, a new... combo? Didn't they say a new combo is available? What new combo? Oh, what? It didn't appear before. Okay, wow. So instead of... Six. This one's three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Whew. I wonder how powerful the ones at the end of this baby's gonna be. So Y, 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 X, 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 Y. Interesting. That might be a little bit difficult to remember. Well, I'm just gonna ditch this. Let's just rethink everything. Let's just try to make this good and then see whatever I have left over, which probably won't be much given how many this takes. Okay. Mm. Healing's always good. So maybe a heal. An S present. Mm. No, let's undo that. Let's make this an X. And then, for the for the very last one, we'll put the multiplier. It's probably going to do a crap ton of damage. 
Oh my god, from 300 to 515. Whew. So the question is just, what do we put here? Well, I guess if I want more damage, I could just... Oops. Do those, and then... Now we do 535. Is that too much damage? Am I focusing too much on damage? Um, I like the idea of not doing everything in one combo. Actually, that's the opposite of what I wanted to do. Let's make this all healing here. So just three heals and then a crap ton of damage. 32 regeneration seems like a lot, though. That kind of seems over the top. Hmm. Okay, and then... So I want to do S present cooldowns somewhere. X... Y, X. I guess I'll just put it here. And then sure, damage at the end, I guess? No reason not to. Okay, so... Our big one that we're going to be using most of the time is Y, 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 X, 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 Y. Otherwise, I can just alternate between Y and X, and I'll get S present back, and do a little bit of damage. Three Ys, four Xs, one Y. I can't use my abilities here? Interesting. I want to get that huge combo off. Y, 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 X, X, ah, oh, fuck you. Y, 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 X, jump, X, 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 ah. Yeah, it's gonna be hard to get that off, it's huge. Y, 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 X, jump, X, 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 Y, ah, come on. Y, 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 X, 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 yeah. Hey, how much, um, bonus PMP? I get plus 50 PMP. I think I got plus 25 with this one. Since when is a membrane turned out to be hostile? Edge, something bizarre is up here. Edge won't be able to help you, dear. The game has begun, and it's my turn to play. Nilla Nillin, my little untamable shrew. You came back to me. I am flattered. You seem upset, my darling. Let's stop these silly games. Come up. I'm waiting. Millen, did you miss me? Not bad. A latched remembrane. I knew you would appreciate it. I'm here to get my memory back. Everything's here. You only need to look. Your little games don't scare me, madame. In time, little one. In time. <laughs> Two 
So we're going to have to escape from their memory puzzles, aren't we? game just for you. Would you like that? A private lesson? Did I win? Pathetic little runt. Nothing in your time away from me. Okay, now I can use these abilities, just don't have enough focus. <laughs> Let's play another game. your desire to worship me. Okay, I don't think I'm supposed to just keep attacking them. I need to look for a window of opportunity in Madame, I think. You can't handle this, can you? I'm not seeing a window of opportunity, though. Maybe I need a DOS? Don't fight your desire to work Yes. Oh, they don't let me get the final hit off, which is the one that does all the damage. Run, my darling, run. DOS isn't back yet. Okay. Welcome back. I've missed you.
You won't get me that easily. You can't handle this, can you? Oh, I finally got the final one off. Welcome back. I've missed you. This time, you should stay forever. Come to me, Lily. Find me if you can. Nothing in their time away from me. <laughs> Stupid petulant child! Thrills me, my dog. Oh. You are pathetic. I need to heal. Obey! Worship me! Damn, how are you supposed to tell which one is real? There must be a tell, right? I should look closer. To me! Shit. Who bay? Okay, we're good on health now. Okay, is there a tell? I don't see one.
Maybe I need to do a DOS at that time? This time, you should stay forever. Yes. You cannot make me. How dare you make me? It's obscene. You are pathetic. One more should do it. But I gotta get back my DOS first. Oops, I didn't mean to hit that. Okay, I'll have to see if I get lucky. Nope. Crawl. Your resistance thrills me, my duck. This should be it. And... Oh, come on. Oh. <laughs> I failed the QT, so I gotta do another round. All right, all right. out, Mrs. Madame. Force Spammer. The Force Spammer remotely moves devices by overloading their control systems and sustaining a constant amount of trash data in their routines. Madame's down. Use her Force Spammer to unlock the memory confinement servers. Uh, so how do I? M oh, like grab onto it and then. Okay, I see. Keep the server locked on and move R horizontally to rail it to the decryption station.
disengaged. Sinking back up with origin storage media. You did it! You've rebooted the Errorist Revolution! All our comrades have regained their memories. Cell upon cell of vandalized minds, each receiving the memories that were stolen from them. Rebirth. Momentarily adrift, their minds cling to anger, fueling their newfound liberty with an immediate need for action. Finally, long buried convictions, forged stronger by their captivity, rise through the turmoil and reforge their humanity. Nothing can stop our comrades. Where are my memories? I don't feel anything. Don't worry. If there's one thing that works here, it's their backups. Your turn is coming. Partial restore. There are still holes. I can feel them. Blind spots. It's not the whole picture. Something's wrong. Madame might have transferred your memories elsewhere. Oh. oh God! My crime. I remember. I killed him. shortly. We're heading to your I know, I now. know. Just give me a minute. Calling Alexia. Unable to connect. Please leave a message. Alexia, damn it, call me. The whole of Paris will be watching my appointment ceremony. You can't let me down like this. I need you there. Message recorded. Selfish bitch. I gave you more than I ever took, Frank. You had my best years. Bullshit. You'll ruin my career before it's even started. Because I won't be standing next to you in a photo? Get real, Frank. I'm not gonna pretend anymore. Alex. Don't you dare walk out! <laughs> Fuck you, Frank! Alex! Go back to the beginning. Selfish bitch. <laughs> Knock over the bottle. Knock over the trophy. I don't really know what either of those would do. I don't think the trophy did much. <laughs> it's just kind of like a, what was that? Oh. Let's do the bottle. I gave you more than. Ooh. 
Remove the gun safety. Yeah. I give you more than a <laughs> Okay. <laughs> That's really funny. I give you more than I ever took, Frank. You had my best. Corrupt the suitcase GPS. What's that gonna do? I guess it's following them automatically, so it's gonna go somewhere wrong. Best years. Or just stop moving? Bullshit! You'll ruin my career before it's even started. Now remove the gun safety. Okay, maybe that's now a good time to do it before they throw it on the table and shoot themselves. Because I won't be standing next to you in a photo. Get real, Frank. Track the side table or tip over the cigarette. Start a fire? Sure. Frank. Alex. Don't you dare walk out! <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going back to the beginning. This is really funny, these <laughs> these choices and how they go wrong. Selfish bitch. Okay, we don't do the bottle. Maybe do the trophy, I guess? Possibly? I don't know. I don't think it would hurt. Don't undo the gun safety. I gave you more than I ever took, Frank. You had my best years. GPS, don't know the point of that, but I'll do it. Just to see what it does. Bullshit. You'll ruin my career before it's even started. Now undo the gun safety. Standing next to you in a photo? Get real Frank. Make the cigarette fall on the floor. I'm not gonna pretend anymore. Alex. Don't you dare walk out! <laughs> Fuck you, Frank! Alex! Okay, that obviously didn't work. Um cigarette didn't do anything. Retract it? Frank. I'm not gonna pretend anymore. Alex. Don't you dare walk out! <laughs> Fuck you, Frank! Alex! Hmm. It kept flashing the suitcase GPS being messed up. So maybe I should go back and undo that. You had my best years. Bullshit. You'll ruin my career before it's even started. Because I won't be standing next to you in a photo? Get real, Frank. Real. Retract it. Who knows why? Frank. I'm not gonna pretend anymore. Alex. Don't you dare walk out! <laughs> Fuck you, Frank! Find a way to make Forlin grab his gun. Uh. How would I make them grab their gun? How would I make them grab their gun? If the bottle's not there, they trip on it and die, right? Or was that what happened? 
Or maybe I need the bottle to not be there. So they grab the gun and I just need to not retract this? Now I'm not entirely sure. I am sure that the trophy doesn't seem to do anything. So... No. Uh. I gave you more than I ever took, Frank. You had my best years. Bullshit. You'll ruin my career before it's even started. Because I won't be standing next to you in a photo? Get real, Frank. Alex, don't you dare walk out! <laughs> okay, it is because they trip on that, but they're hitting their head at the very end of the table, so is that related to this? I don't remember if I retracted this before. Now they won't hit their head? They'll still trip, though. Alex. Don't you dare walk out! <laughs> what are you gonna uh -huh. do? Shoot me? You can't even stand up straight. Be serious, Frank. You never even take the safety off. Alex! Bastards. You're not taking me in for this. It was an accident. I won't give you the satisfaction. I'm so sorry, Alex. I'm so sorry. All right, Frank, you win. I... Glad Forlin's dead, though. What a piece of shit. The raid on Labastille ended with nothing but more deception and emotional holes. Sure, Madame's rule has come to an end. But my past still eludes me. Without my memories, I have no choice but to follow Edge's instructions with hollow conviction. And despite the atrocities I witnessed in that prison winning me over to the errorist cause, the recovered memory of my crime is gnawing away at my soul. I pushed a man to suicide. What else have I done? Worse? Edge only sees cause for celebration. Our liberated comrades have remembered their credo and taken up the fight against sense and technology once more. And now he wants to strike at the heart of the reconversion project and smash Memorize forever. His plan, go for the Queen Bee. Scylla Cartier-Wells, president of Memorize. I must remix her worldview, skew her past and soften her heart. And so I asked myself, is winning this struggle worth losing my soul? Can one crime justify the reversal of another? The old Nilin seemed to have the answer. As for this Nilin, she doesn't have a clue.
You're going to infiltrate the Memorize head office. Find that bitch Scylla and put an end to her reconversion project. Crush her errant beliefs. We must stop her from building an army of leapers. I was wondering why, if Edge is going to betray us, I suspect why they would have us go get our memories back, but now that we saw that we didn't get all of our memories back, there were holes, I think that makes it pretty clear that Edge is probably the one that went snip snip and edited it. Wants to make sure I help them far enough along until they don't need me. And then I'll probably get the real memories back or something. Okay, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode, so hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, we're going to try to head to the main office.